Hey everyone, welcome to Soil Goddess. In today's video, we are going to see how to make vegetarian mutton or vegan mutton at home. For that, you will need whole wheat flour. Take two cups of whole wheat flour. If you have all-purpose flour, you can also use that. I'm using whole wheat flour and add water gradually and make it into a chapati dough consistency. Keep this aside for half an hour and add water gradually like this and start to massage this dough very gently for another five minutes. So you have to use your fingertips to massage the dough so that the starch from the dough gets separated and uh, it um, only the gluten remains in the dough so you can already see the water is becoming white which means the starch in the dough is getting separated and only the gluten is sticking to the dough now repeat this process for a couple of times this is my third time i am adding water and massaging the dough you can already see the water is becoming um, white and all the starch is coming out and you can already visibly see our dough is becoming start started have started to become stretchy and this is the right consistency we actually need for making vegetarian or vegan mutton at home so this is after making this three times the process in three times the fourth time i am adding i'm just um, running cold water in the dough and squeezing all the excess water and make sure you squeeze all the excess water from the dough and make it into small pieces like this i'll be adding so many vegan and vegetarian meat recipes uh, in the future and i'm I, I have already created a playlist for this so please watch our channel regularly and i am also making sure i'm uh, taking all the excess water from the mutton pieces and adding these mutton vegan mutton pieces in boiling water and leaving it to boil for another 10 minutes let the mutton pieces get boiled meanwhile we'll make khutu curry for that in a pan heat two tablespoons of coconut oil and add four to five cloves two pieces of small cinnamon and a cardamom and add chopped onions to it let it get sorted meanwhile we'll make the paste for khutu curry and we are adding a handful of uh, coconut a small piece of uh, cinnamon and a dried chili and ginger this is how i uh, preserve my ginger in freezer and i'll let you know in my later videos how i preserve it and i'm adding four to five pots of cloves and um, a small piece of onion and turmeric and grinding it into a fine paste now we'll coming to the coming to the sorted onions in the pan i'm adding the wedge mutton pieces in the sorted onions let it get sorted for a couple of minutes after that it already looks gorgeous i know after that we are adding a pinch of salt you can add salt per taste and adding the kothukari paste into it now sort it well for another 10 minutes because uh, this paste should shrink well after 10 minutes this is how a kuttu curry looks like all the masala has been absorbed well and you can see the oil is getting separated from the kuttu curry this is when you have to switch off your stove and transfer it into a serving bowl kuttu curry means chopped meat in tamil this is an authentic dish which my mom makes for every other sunday and this is a very big hit and if you like this video please subscribe to soil goddess share this video and thanks for watching